here's the deal. You, if, you, if you're serious about this, I know so many people that, that were pretty good writers too. And then they just, they came to town and, and got the job. I had a construction engineering degree. I had been accepted to physical therapy school. I was the number one graduate in, in engineering. And, uh, and was making a crap load of money doing it and could be, you know, was accepted to med school for physical therapy. And I came here to become a singer, songwriter. And that was my, a, that was it. So it was, you have to bite that pride. You can't, you come here as an accountant, you, you get an accounting job, you're not gonna have the, the, the time to, to write songs. There's not a lot of people in this town that, that, you know, write at night. I mean, if that's what you do, there's some people that make that happen. But it, for me, I just found, just went and searched out. I sucked as a waiter, sucked. But I got a job as a waiter because it gave me flexible hours to be able to be on Music Road during the day and, and network and write with people. And, uh, and at the same, you know, if you do get the chance to write, even if it's not a famous writer, but you, you start meeting with the publishers and they want to put you together their writers, well, those writers are signed writers. So they, they write from, you know, 10 in the morning to, to 4 in the afternoon. And, and if you can't do that, they're not going to, you know, take time away from their family at night to go write with you. And generally, there are some, but, you know, I found that. I was a waiter, and then I, I, I did a ton of jobs, but the one that everybody knows about, but it was it was a jackpot for me. I saw one of my co-writers, Greg Becker, was doing it, and uh, he worked for Calvin Klein. I got a job for starting out for Tommy Hilfiger, that we did what called Squirt and Flirt. I was one of the clone models at the mall that, you know, gave out the samples. But it paid a crap load of money. I could work, you know, four to six hours a day, and, and uh, flexible hours, I could work in the day or not, whatever. And, and they were usually really good about letting me work my hours when I can do it. And a lot of weekends too. Uh, it was really heavy during holidays, you know, Father's Day, Mother's Day, Valentine's, uh, and then of course the holidays, Christmas holidays. But, uh, you know, generally it was just a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Friday, Saturday, Sunday kind of gig um, to where I could load up with eight hours a day, making a lot an hour. And then I had Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Go do whatever needed, and, and you know, I supplemented that waiting also. But I mean, you just gotta. If you're serious about it, there's creative ways to make money, and uh, you gotta, you know, be available to ride with those guys. Well, that, yeah. You, I mean, if you're gonna do country music, I got a lot of friends that that, that are. Once again, I'm I'm far from being the most talented person that I've been around. I, and when I was in Texas, there's people there that were hundred times better singer and songwriter and guitar player and everything else than I was, but it's, you know, I sacrificed. I, I moved here and, and a lot of people think they're just going to drive into town once a month or, you got to be here. You just, because of the, some of the biggest breaks I ever had was sitting at lunch eating somewhere and running into somebody and, and you know, they just saw me at a writer's night and didn't say anything that night or, or I'm with somebody that introduced me to this person and they, you know, we end up talking and then get to know each other and it's a networking town and it's it's great. And it, it's a heartbreak town, but you gotta be here. And it, but the thing about it, it is so creative and the energy's there and, and the community of songwriters and singers is it's 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 like no other. It's a it's a great city to live in, especially if this is what you want to do. But it, it's hard to it's hard to, to network and really make it if you're not here. Go if you're in Nashville just immerse yourself. Just throw yourself into the scene and get out there. If you're not singing, then be at somebody else's show and and just let that let that energy, that creative energy just absorb into your soul.